Uh, so here we are. I thought this was kind of funny as soon as I logged in. Uh, we're having a town meeting, apparently, so... Talking about the day's events <laughs> uh, and things like that. But um, what I wanted to do is I was getting a lot of feedback on a couple of my videos that I've done in Fallout here. And a lot of people have asked me um, a couple of different things. One, hey, I'm not finding my caps. Um, things with the emporiums and, and a lot of questions around this. So let me go ahead and address that first. This is going to be a kind of a two-part video. One, if you want to maximize your money too, and I, I talk about where to find it and some tips and tricks to start making money in your settlements, but to kind of maximize and start really getting your money, you know, really, really going, uh, here is, this is obviously, this is Sanctuary, the very first town you pretty much go in, and these are all industrial purifiers. Now, I have four of them uh, in the town right now, and there doesn't seem to be a build limit here in Sanctuary that I've found yet. Uh, I've reached that limit here in, in, in the castle, in some other towns, but the sanctuary seems like you can just build and build and build. So I've kind of been sticking to that. But anyway, so what I was getting at, so I'm going to transfer here in the workshop. And if I go over here to aid, um, purified water would show up. Now I've actually just picked that up, but I, I'm getting about 118 to 115 uh, purified bottles of water about every 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and it is worth about a thousand caps. So you can look at about a thousand to twelve hundred caps. Um, same thing with this food here. So I'm growing a lot of carrots out front here. Anything extra that the town doesn't kind of quote unquote use gets put into the extra. Now I have made a little bit of bottle caps. Now you can either search from the very beginning, um, you can search your entire workshop, but it's kind of easy to go through miscellaneous and pick up your bottle caps. Now, people have asked me uh, on these, so I'm going to address that. Uh, how do you get people to make money in your town? Um, do you have to actually physically give them something or, or anything like that? Uh, the answer is actually no. You don't actually have to give them anything to sell. It's kind of one of those self-sustaining um, economies. I, I really don't know how to exactly word that, I guess, but they just kind of make the money themselves you just all you have to do is literally assign people so i if i'm in workshop mode let me go ahead and do that just so you guys know how to do that so i'm in workshop mode if i hit x uh, you can also hold down the touchpad on the ps4 uh, but if i go here it tells me where she's assigned to so piper right now is assigned to food um he's assigned to that specific uh clinic over there but if he wasn't assigned and it had a little basically a red um, thing basically saying that they're unassigned I would click on the uh, X there so it shows that they are commanded and I would walk over and uh, assign them to here so and it looks like I do have an unassigned it looks like Jezebel is actually unassigned uh, and I don't have a trait okay so it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and do it here I didn't actually realize so Jezebel this is actually a new character in the uh, automatron. So I'm going to go ahead and now they are assigned to the trading emporium. And they will automatically, like I said, you don't need to do anything else besides that. And then they'll start making money for you. Um, you can start trading uh, and things like that. So and it also, as it shows here in one of the recent updates, it kind of shows you it's producing happiness. So I have 68. Uh, I do have, actually have a platinum trophy in this. So if you want to see how to do maximum settlement happiness, I also have a trophy on that uh, as well. Now, another thing uh, people have really been asking me um, is how do you get materials? Because I am, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick so I'm not lying to you. I'm level 55 and a half. I'm going to start kind of leveling up a little more because this new Wasteland Settlers uh, pack is, is a little intense. You need a lot of materials and a lot of things. And I'll go ahead and bring that up here in just a minute. But how do you actually get uh, the materials here. So I do have a lot. Um, and just so you know, when I first started playing this game and I didn't realize that, you can hit actually triangle, uh, store all junk. And that will actually give you, you don't have to literally scrap every single thing. It'll automatically do it whenever you put it in the workshop. Um, another thing, I'm going to go ahead and bring up this map because uh, a lot of people seem to be confused on this. And I was able to kind of figure it out. So if I go to my map here and I show supply lines, which is L1 on the PS4, um, you can see that I've got a lot of settlements kind of all tied together. What that means is they're all sharing the resources. 
And what that means is any town that is connected via a supply line, this workshop right here is basically going to be the exact same workshop in another town. So anything in here is basically shared across all the uh, different cities. So you can basically build whatever you want in those towns. So how to get more crafting materials. Um, it seems like uh, no matter what you do <laughs> uh, in this game, and I have played this game a lot, trust me, like I said, I've, I've been able to get to level 55, which is, is pretty hard considering uh, there's only so many missions that actually give you quite a bit of credit. After that, you kind of have to pick a, a faction. And this is my faction list. Like every, he's, he's kind of friendly with everybody. So I have one guy that's like friendly with each of the factions. But anyway, so with the new uh, Wasteland Settlers, uh, as you can see, so I'm going to need soft so You need a lot of different types of food. Um, And there was something else I'm like really lacking. I got plenty of steel. You also, uh, for this one, as you can see, the beta wave emitter, you're going to need some rank. So I'm going to have to rank up a little bit more uh, to get those perks as well. Because I never did quite, I never really saw the value in those. Uh, but let me go ahead and let's go ahead. Let's see, where do I want to go? These are some cages to keep my people back when I'm actually going to start fighting. I am a, a little later after I start. Like I said, it's going to take me a little bit to level up and get all the appropriate stuff, but I am going to start hosting uh, some basically some UFC fights <laughs> in here. But let me exit out of here. Uh, let me show you how to get... Uh, this is at least what I do. We're going to go to Diamond City for right now. Now, Carla, Trash Can Carla is one of the suppliers if you will she'll show up here in sanctuary quite often and i'll usually trade with her but i'm going to show you a little tip that i use um so there's kind of two two really good tips that i'm going to show you in this one being you're going to want to have a companion that can hold a lot of weight um, i happen to have ada which comes with the automatron dlc now if you don't have that dlc yet I would get Codsworth because even if you don't upgrade him, now in Automatron you can actually give him some, some special like, um, how do I want to say it, like extra arms and things like that. So he kind of looks like this, but I, I put extra arms and he can carry more weight because of it. Right uh, the second thing is simply buying this stuff from these vendors. So let me go ahead and show you. This is, this is what I do later on. And what I do is... I don't know if I... I actually might have sold it all, so I do apologize. Oh, no. So this is the purified water I was talking about earlier in the video. So I have 113. Uh, it's worth about 1,500 caps. And I'll go back to Sanctuary and show you if I'm able to get any more in the short time that I've been playing this video. But So go to Junk, and whatever you need, go ahead and buy. Um, I have found that the concrete I have plenty of... Uh, it seems like the screws, the adhesive, so I am going to actually buy some of this adhesive. Uh, the screws and the gears, I seem to, for some reason, run out of a lot. <laughs> uh, oil is another good one. Uh, but you can kind of buy individual junk. But here's another really, really good thing that I really like, and it's the shipment of adhesive or whatever you kind of need. And I actually do need adhesive. I'm going to need... i go ahead and buy this... Let's see, go ahead and buy the plastics and the springs. I have plenty of steel. But you can go through there. Now, those shipments are pretty good, and I have plenty of money, um, so I'll probably just go ahead and take the loss because I've got, like I said, I, I've got so much money now in this game, basically from all these workshops, and all I have to do is play a few hours. I can make that triple back. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'll go back to Sanctuary. Um, but as you're doing missions, okay, so if you... I don't want to go there. If you want to kind of maximize your, because I, I tend to pick up a lot of different things. In the beginning of the game, I wasn't picking up as much junk, but this Fallout 4, for those of you that have played through the series, know that crafting has become such a part of this game. And, and as the DLC evolves, uh, we found that they keep adding more and more to the crafting element. Um, and I think at first a lot of people were like, eh, you know, on the fence about the crafting. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging it now. I, I got to be honest with you. It's, it's becoming more apparent that it's more, more and more useful, especially with this, uh, what they're showing right here, the robot modification, um, 
table, whatever you want to call it. That is pretty cool. You can literally build robots from the ground up, and I'm eventually going to have them fight <laughs> probably in my cages over here. But So what I'm going to do now, uh, like I said, so I'm going to go to transfer, and I can do store all junk. Yes. Guess you've got your reason. Oh, I took all that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Okay, so store all junk. Um, and then let's see. Shoot, I did not mean to do that. Well, anyway, you store all the junk, and then all of that stuff that I just bought is going to be in here and able for me to be able to be used uh, later that on. So I, like I really hope this kind of helps. Um, and like I said, so here's Trash Can Carla. Uh, and a lot of times she'll have quite a bit yeah. of stuff as well. So she will sell those shipments and things like that. And then you just go right over here and basically put it in there. Um, I really hope that helps because, like I said, I have played this game for so many, so many hours. I mean, it's unreal. And while I passed on some of the junk early on, I've been picking up everything. And it seems like as you're crafting, I mean, you're just going to need so much stuff. So um, to kind of keep you going and things like that. So... Uh, once again, like I said, uh, the two best companions, if you don't have the Automatron DLC, is Codsworth, but if not, it's going to be Ada. Uh, right. Let me kind of show you. I don't know if it has a weight limit on her. It won't show it in here, but it will show it on my robot thing. But I think she can, she can hold like 450 pounds, which is absolutely amazing. So as far as when you're trying to get all this junk um, and as you're going out on missions and, and, and things like that. And that will really help you kind of do that and for those of you that didn't know the uh junk because <laughs> i i was literally doing i was dropping all of my junk here and scrapping it all and i didn't know i could just store it all and it'll automatically basically scrap it <laughs> so i kind of hope that helps um the two things before i leave this video is make sure as far as uh the farming and things like that go basically when you break it down the mutt fruit is the best fruit to grow and i actually let me pull it up on the map it's in gray garden so let me go ahead and just show the supply lines here. Where are you? Somewhere. <laughs> okay, Grey Garden. Right there is actually, they've already got a mutt fruit kind of farm already raised up there and if you have all that stuff if you have a supply line there you're going to find that those that are not being used because uh, settlements if you don't have enough food in one settlement now know that they will distribute throughout the other settlements so that they're not starving but if there is any extra mutt fruits are the best fruit as far as profit to sell they make you're going to make the most money per mutt fruit as far as any of the other things you can grow um, and then build as many industrial uh, water purifiers that you can because like I said you're gonna make I mean just hand over fist let me go ahead and I'll, I'll pull that up like I said I was gonna see and I complete I just drained my whole <laughs> thing which I did not mean to do because you guys saw me sell that so I didn't make any yet but it's only been a couple minutes but like I said about every hour I'll make at least a hundred um, and as you can see, it was worth about 1,500 caps. So I hope all of that helps. If, if there's something else that you guys are seeing, if there's something else that you guys are having some um, questions with or something, you know, some other tips that might be helpful, uh, please let me know in the comment section and things like that. And as always, uh, I hope this was very entertaining or at least very helpful. And check out some of my other videos. I've got some uh, videos, like I said, on maximum settlement happiness. I've got some on the basic crafting guides. Uh, this guy's, I just now noticed, is trying to <laughs> plow the concrete, apparently. <laughs> um, and I've got one that, like I said, the maximizing, you know, trying to get a lot of those caps in your settlement. So I hope that really kind of helps um, get you the caps and, and, and goods that you need to <laughs> uh, get going. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.